On June 17, 2015, we welcome you to the Orange County Convention Center here in Orlando, Florida. This is Infocom TV News. Welcome to our Convention TV on-site news coverage at this year's Infocom 2015 show. I'm Mike Morris. And I'm Jill Nicolini, and we'll be reporting to you from our studio throughout this show as our reporter Hester Van Hooven files her stories from the events that are going on throughout the convention hall. Hey, Hester. Well, hey guys, it's so nice to be back. It's great to be working with you guys again. Everyone at Testa Communications always makes it fun. And this show is going to be great. Everyone I've spoken to is really pumped up. Thanks, Hester. Some things have certainly changed since the last time we were here, Jill. The overall economy remains uncertain, yet the stock market is at record highs, and that's a good thing for many of the manufacturers that make up this industry. The Infocom folks are sure that this year's attendance will be up from last year's. And what's most important is that the people who matter, the ones you came here to see, will be here. That's right, Mike. And we begin the news with this exclusive story that you won't find any place else. Well, Jill, obviously this is a major story here on opening day. And Infocom TV News and Sound and Communication Magazine's editor David Silverman has the exclusive scoop. I'm David Silverman. I'm here with Glenn Marianco, product manager with Crestron, and he's going to tell us about their new cloud-based products. Glenn? Hey, David. Thank you so much. So we've introduced Crestron Fusion Cloud Edition at the show here today, and you're scooping that with us. And this is a really great new way for people to get started with Crestron in their organization. Rather than install on-premises servers and worry about all the IT hassles with getting systems set up to do centralized monitoring, We've established cloud services for our customers. As you know, everybody's moving to the cloud these days. And so Crestron is as well, and now Fusion is available in the cloud. Fusion Insight expands on our abilities to monitor systems by using 3D visualization and graphics. You can look at your entire floor, your entire building, see a heat map of the uh, conference rooms that are used the most, where all your meetings are going on now, and if people are not showing up to their meetings, where you have booked meetings and they're not available. It's really cool. The Pinpoint application, a mobile application for iOS and Android, allows knowledge workers in the organization to just pull the phone out of their pocket and see at a glance which rooms are available for them to use for a meeting. And the hits keep coming at Crestron. We have Joe Saracen to tell us about the next new thing. Joe? Hi, so this is our Microsoft Surface Hub enhancement that we have developed in partnership with Microsoft over the last couple of years, and it is a turnkey solution that is fully validated from Crestron that integrates this natively. Uh, this is the only, we're the only company, the technology partner in the United States that has this available for sale. Let me show you what it can do. So we have this tied into natively switch sources within the system, so we can bring different sources up. With the system like this, we can go full screen and bring different video, 4K and 1080p video scaled natively to the system depending on which resolution you need at any given time. And we bring the control from the Surface Hub to the room control panel. So everything you can do in our app on the Surface Hub, you can do here on the touch panel in the room. Looking for a long-range signal extender that won't break your budget? Hall Research's UH-1D Video Over Twisted Pair Extension Kit should fit the bill. The kit consists of a sender and a corresponding receiver. Using a single CAT6 cable, it can extend 1080p signals to over 130 feet, or it can extend 1080i signals to 170 feet, and also provides digital audio and analog stereo outputs. Neutrik has unveiled yet another game-changing line of cable products. The Ethercon CAT 6A line offers all the accessories integrators need for their most demanding CAT 6A cable runs. The line includes a cable carrier complete with an RJ45 connector for self-termination. Cable carriers are available in nickel and black plating and accept 7mm to 9.5mm cables. CAT 6A line is, is the highest bit rate that you're going to find now, so it's meeting the demands of the industry. You're looking at a 500 megahertz uh, rate now, where you had 250 or 100 megahertz rate for a CAT 5 and CAT 6 cables. Now this is something that's giving you a 10 gig capacity at distances of 100 meters, where previous CAT 6 uh, line would give you 37 to 55 meters. Now we offer an IP65 rated version. This is something that we did not have before, and it's going to be perfect 
magic for you out in the field. The display station series of carts, stands, and monitor walls by Middle Atlantic is application engineered for easy integration. Each model comes equipped with an integrated power strip and cable management system. I'm here at Middle Atlantic with Megan Needler. Megan, tell me a little bit more about the products you're showcasing here at Infocom. This year we're really excited. We've got three different vignette setups where we've got classrooms, conference rooms, and huddle spaces, all showcasing C to G products, wire mold products, and Middle Atlantic products, and how they work together to help an integrator. So we've got our lectern solution in the classroom, which is now available in HPL and veneer finishes. It's a frame to furniture technology. The frame ships so that the, you can begin the integration, and the wood kit arrives two weeks later and comes in 65 different finishes. Last evening, Infocom held its annual awards dinner. Part of the proceedings included the presentation of its special recognition. Industry members receiving awards included Brian Critchley, founding manager director, now retired of Digital Projection, who received the Adele DeBerry Pioneers of AV Award. CTS Holder of the Year is Byron Terry, director of Enterprise Solutions with Sharps Audiovisual. Paul Zeely, Jr., Manager of Enterprise Solutions with Harmon AMX, was named Educator of the Year. The Fred Dixon Service and Education Award went to Alan Braun, Principal of Braun Consulting. Ron Camden, Vice President of Global Sales, Biamp Systems, was named Volunteer of the Year. Zeller Digital Innovations Lead Audiovisual Design Engineer Jeremy Caldera received the Young AV Professional Award. And both Heather Calloway, who is Principal of Site Ready Design, and Wendy Cox, Director of Product Group Development with Milestone AV Technologies, received Women in AV Award recognition. I'm here with David Labuskus, Executive Director and CEO here at Infocom. Wow, what a night. This is quite a party. What can attendees expect here tomorrow when the show opens? Uh, they can expect a representation of one of the most amazing and exciting industries that exists on this planet today. We have nearly a thousand exhibitors. We have over a half a million square feet of floor space, meeting rooms, audio rooms. We have everything from the newest in control systems, display systems, audio systems, to drones flying around in the show floor. It is going to be wow. It's going to be an amazing, exceptional experience for every single person that comes through the door. I can't wait. Thanks, David. We'll be right back with more of Infocom TV news after these messages. Please stay with us. Digico Orange Box multi channel audio converter with Dante, Maddy, OptiCore, Hydra 2, Avion, AES, plus many more. One System's new hybrid speakers are designed for outdoor venues, even near and on salt water. One System's hybrid models offer system designers the perfect mix of performance and quality. See One System's at Infocom Booth 559. Expand your profit centers. Barco from Starin takes click sharing from first in huddles to next in AV over IP. Starin, Booth 1917. Now, before we get into this next segment, let's check in with Hester, who's on the show floor, to see if she found anything extra special while the show was setting up. Hester? I'm here with Devin Wright of Jupiter Systems. Devin, tell me about Canvas 3.0. Canvas 3.0 has a lot of new enterprise features now. Now we start integrating with SIP, um, so video teleconferencing systems, uh, Link, and also the CRS4K. And what's important about the CRS4K is now that these uh, conference room systems are actually deployed in a meeting room type environment, in a huddle room, and they can drive a single 4K uh, monitor or four 1080p monitors. And we have a new technology called Simple Share, which allow you from your laptop present directly to that box and you can share it within the whole enterprise environment. You, now you can also bring in these other video teleconferencing systems and push content back and forth between video teleconferencing and Canvas directly. Thanks, Devin. Back to you, Jill. 
Philips Signage Solutions BDL 4835QL is more than just another pretty display. It boasts brains and beauty thanks to its full suite of smart collection features. These include the ability to stream content via smart browser, a built-in smart CMS content management system, and 8 gigs of internal memory. This model also marks the debut of Philips Ambulite technology, which offers a more eye-catching and immersive viewing experience by projecting light from the sides of a display. Lao AG has some great news for users of its MC Squared mixing consoles. They now offer integration with Neumann's DMI 8 digital microphone interface thanks to Ravenna Audio over IP technology. That means your mics will have more dynamic range and signal fidelity than ever before. It is an all in one console, so you have the yeah local I.O. on board, you have the processing inside so you don't need any additional racks space uh, to make this console working, it's all in there. Pretty cost effective and very easy to use. It's containing all broadcast features which Lavo is renowned for and in addition to that it's also very nice board to operate in live sound environments, in uh, churches, in install. It's set for networking. So you can network several consoles and operate it in an IP-based environment, which makes it absolutely future-proof. Sony is adding two new models to its line of projectors that combine 4K imaging with a laser light source. Both models boast 5,000 lumens of brightness and native SXRD 4K resolution. We've combined our laser light engine and uh, 4K resolution to introduce two models, the VPL GTZ 280 and the GTZ 270. Both of them are 5,000 lumen 4K resolution projectors uh, that offer great features for applications such as museums or planetariums, um, entertainment or flight simulation. They both feature 120 hertz refresh rate, which is great for 4K 3D. Uh, instant power on and off, tilt-free installation. And how long can these lumens luminate? In uh, standard brightness mode, which will give you the 5,000 uh, lumen output, they can last 20,000 hours, but if you go to a limited brightness mode, it can last even up to 40,000 hours. They also feature consistent brightness mode and periodic auto calibration, and their SXRD panel creates a deep black image with reduced white band visibility for multi-projection blending. You know, Jill, we've got so much to cover at this show, it's impossible to get it all in, but we're going to try. Yes, we sure are, but we're lucky. All we have to do is report the news. So the guys at Sound and Communications Magazine actually spend many, many weeks uncovering the news available right before the show. And then they're running around, coming up with late-breaking news entries each day. It's really great to work with David Silverman, John Carr, Ron Baraghi, you know, the whole team. The entire team. Now, speaking of that team, one of the members who's been with Testa Communications Sound and Communications Magazine for a very long time, celebrating his 25th year, I believe, is John Carr. Wow, congratulations, John. <laughs> Great pictures. <laughs> Looking good, John. Yes, there are few people more knowledgeable about this industry than John. When he's got something to say, so we always listen up. Here's John Carr's Eye on Infocom. Thanks, Jill. Honesty with good intentions. You would think that would be a slam dunk for an industry, like most, that rely on relationships and rapport for the long haul. But as recent columns in Santa Communications have illustrated, this may not always be the case. Peter Mapp, audio consultant and monthly sound advice columnist, illustrates how many loudspeaker companies make compromised data sheets for their product's claim performance. These numbers may be fudged for numerous reasons. Obviously, this can create serious system problems and headaches from emergency sound intelligibility to subpar performance for a space. Peter Mapp provides some useful insights. Could a universal testing standard be the answer? Doug Klieger's What Would You Do column is wonderful at illustrating how not to get burned on the job with real-world experience and examples. His recent column hits on how integrators can be taken advantage of by unscrupulous clients and shows how to avoid these traps. These insights, our many columnists discuss monthly, are of a service we feel is important to advancing the industry. So stop by booth 6651 to subscribe and grab our latest issues. Back to you, Mike. Now stay with us. We've got more news from Christy, Star Draw, and much, much more. We'll be right back.
Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has been growing. Please stop by booth 1221. Check out our new Ergo mic, mixers, and DSPs. Expand your profit centers. Barco Laser Projection from Sterin helps you grow in church and auditorium business. Sterin, booth 1917. At the Orange County Convention Center, again, this is Infocom TV News, independently produced, written, and brought to you by Tesla Communications, the publisher of the leading magazines in this market, Sound and Communications, and ITAV Report. And our editors are working here throughout the show, getting the news you need to know when you need it. Our reports are taped and filed throughout the day and broadcast through the convention halls and hotels 24 hours a day. And so you don't waste a moment. We are also seen on the buses going to your hotel to the convention center. So whether you are in your hotel room, at the expo, or in transit, you are never information challenged. The information is right here on Infocom TV News. Oh, and don't forget, Mike, that these programs that we send to you each and every day, they go to your desktop, smartphones, and every Infocom member worldwide. So that's pretty cool that everyone can be part of the action, don't you think? Very much so. If you're ready to move on to the next stage of video switching, then you'll want to get your hands on Analog Way's next stage, 08. This dual output seamless switcher is equipped with eight scalers, eight seamless inputs, and 28 input plugs, including HDMI, DVEID, DisplayPort, 3GSDI, and Universal Analog. The VO4K has a lot of applications in uh, conversion of the signal from upscaling to downscaling, uh, sending a signal to a high resolution 4K projector. It's also especially well suited to LED wall applications through the use of the expansion cards, which allow you to output three different custom zooms of the same input to three different screens, for example. So you could take uh, three different parts of the image to three different segments of your LED wall if needed. Christie's D-Series 3LCD projectors deliver 6,000 to 8,000 lumens of brightness with a single lamp. This places them among the brightest single lamp projectors on the market today. They offer a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio, an XGA, WXGA, and WUXGA resolution. An optional ultra short throw lens increases installation flexibility. Stardoor.com has upgraded its signature design and documentation software for AV integrators. Thanks to a wealth of new features, Stardoor Design version 7.1 lets users create even more detailed engineering and presentation drawings, reports, cable schedules, and much, much more. Wow! How much more is more? I'm here with Rob Robinson. Tell me more. More? Okay, Hester. Well, here at Infocom, we're going to be showing Stardraw Design 7.1. This is design and documentation software specifically for AV integrators. They can create their system schematics and their rack layouts and custom panel design, sales presentations, and general floor plans and ceiling plans, AutoCAD compatible, and it's award-winning. Now, at this show, we're going to be previewing uh, a brand new and our most requested new piece of functionality, the ability to import a PDF file. So now integrators can get a drawing from third parties in PDF, they can load it up into Stardraw Design 7.1 and work on it like a native document, they can edit all the things. But finally, we have a brand new platform, an online, mobile-first, touch-first design platform that we've developed principally for manufacturers and for distributors of custom and configurable products. And we'll be right back. Stay with us. William Sound is spot on this year with innovation that's definitely turning heads. Experience the Hearing Hotspot Live Audio via Wi Fi, the next gen Digital Loop Induction Loop Amplifier, and meet our all new Tech Blue crew, your go to for design services and technical expertise. See Spot Run at William Sound Booth 643. Check this out. about innovation. Community is one of the world's premier suppliers of innovative and high-performance outdoor, distributed, and engineered loudspeakers. See and hear Community's products, including their latest high-performance modular i-series and demo room W202C at odd hours, on the hour, and half hour. Expand your profit centers. Neats Control provides a dimension of configuration ease and user satisfaction. Starin, booth 1917. 
Before we go back to the studio, I've got to show you what I found. I'm here with Eric Norell at AJA. Eric, I keep hearing about streaming solutions from the floor. Tell me about it. Well, we've got a cool different, uh, few different cool solutions involving our retail I.O. and Kona product lines. We've got some very cool switching with vMix and Wirecast software. Um, we're also introducing a few new little uh, gray boxes, which we're pretty well known for, including these HD base T converters, uh, which are do HDMI, um, UHD and 4K transmission up to 100 meters over category cable. We also have a couple of new fiber converters, a new uh, scan converter for capturing computer signals. Infocom 2015 marks the debut of the Innovation Showcase in Hall D, an exclusive space on the show floor where companies that you may not recognize will demonstrate their product to the AV industry. These are companies that have never been part of the Infocom show, offering innovative solutions you could use on your next AV project. Vote for the most innovative product. The company with the most votes will win $10,000. This is so exciting. You know, Jill, this first day of broadcasting seems to be going really well. What do you think? It sure is. Actually, I'm amazed. The exhibitors are really enthusiastic about the products that they're presenting here at the show. The guys at Sound and Communication said that this was going to be a very important show this year, and it looks like they weren't kidding. And here are some more examples why. InFocus Corporation has made some major improvements to its flagship large format touchscreen collaboration device. With MondoPad 2.0, point-to-point video callers can share a single desktop and analog shared files, all while enjoying enhanced features and improved BYOD connectivity. I have a full white uh, web browser that I can navigate the web. I have a full whiteboard that I can make notes in a meeting or capture meeting minutes. Video conferencing built in that supports all the major standards out there. The DigiLoop induction loop amplifier from Williams Sound now features audio streaming and control via Dante and Crestron connectivity. It offers DSP audio processing with software control of mixing, EQ, compression, loop phase shift, and more. It offers reduced size and weight and increased efficiency thanks to its Class D pulse width amplifiers. And its dual amp design allows the option of a single 12A output for large perimeter loops or dual 10A output for phase loop arrays. I'm here with Daryl at Williams Sound showcasing what's new for us this year. Hi, thanks for stopping by. Last year, Williams Sound introduced our large induction loop amplifier offering network control. This year, we're offering our new partnership with Audinate. Now you can have the capability of using Ethernet for remote access. You also have AES digital input, and you can also use Audinate or Dante for digital audio input on our induction loop amplifier. Jill, it never ceases to amaze me the great things we have at this show, and believe me, there's more to come. Stay tuned. For any job, you need the right tool. StarDraw has the right design and documentation software for every project. And with a host of new features, the best tool just got better. See the award-winning StarDraw Design 7.1, a fast, easy way to draw and do more at booth 2562. Technology is evolving faster than ever before. Equipment is migrating out of the closet. People are bringing their own devices to the table and connectivity standards are no more. At Middle Atlantic, we're solving your challenges in conference rooms, huddle spaces, and classrooms every day. With breakthrough products like frame to furniture, wire mold table boxes, and USB 3.1 from C2G. See how our products come together at booth 2517. Middle Atlantic Products, what great systems are built on. Expand your profit centers. Barco from Starin takes click sharing from first in huddles to next in AV over IP. Starin, booth 1917. Welcome back. This is Infocom TV News, produced by Testa Communications because they believe that when you're at a convention like this, TV works. After all, you're watching it, and we certainly thank you. If you've got a mic heavy project coming up, then you'd be better off red. Focus Rights RedNet MP8R is an eight channel remote controlled mic preamp. It uses Dante audio over IP networking technology. What does Dante have to do with all of this? Well, it's great that you asked. Dante is the glue that holds it all together. And of the 250 booths at Infocom, 50 of them are Dante enabled. And all of our gear has been Dante for years. So the MP8R mic preamp is a Dante device like the other Dante devices that we have, about a dozen of them. And it's been designed to touring standards uh, with two sets of 
of Dante outputs, one that has a gain, a mic gain control output, and the other one has a gain compensated. It's the first device that allows you to connect any two digital consoles. Uh, and in addition, it's got uh, redundant power supply and redundant networking like the rest of our new redundant line has. Say goodbye to those tangled nests of cables with Clock Audio's CD-T100 transporter. Through the use of Dante technology, it reduces cable runs between conference room mics and the AV cabinet. Instead, audio and control signals are transported via Ethernet. This cuts back on the visual clutter presented by cables, allowing integrators to streamline their corporate installations. Barco's PGWX62L is the latest addition to its line of super quiet laser phosphor projectors. I'm here at Barco. I hear this product produces a noise level of just 35 decibels. Tell me more. Actually, it's down to 32 decibels, which is one of the quietest projectors on the market today. Um, with the solid state illumination, we can also get 20,000 hours of operational life. So you can set this up in a conference room, a classroom, a boardroom, and just set it up and forget it basically there's no maintenance there are no filters to uh, change over that period so uh, with the solid state illumination or laser phosphor illumination uh, that's one of the huge benefits that we get out of this product well jill that's it for our first day of infocom tv news here in the land of mickey mouse only now it's frozen oh and thanks for all your hard work out there hester did you have fun yeah, it's been great. Lots of cool product and great people. I'm really having a great time. Also to our viewers out there, have a great rest of your day and get a good night's rest because there will be lots more coming at you here tomorrow at Infocom. And I'll see you guys then. Yes, you will. And you folks out there, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Morris. And I'm Jill Nicolini, and I cannot stop singing Let It Go. <laughs> Let It Go. We will see you back here tomorrow.